I'm going to let AI choose my routine as a stay at home mom. So right now it's currently 6.06 .06 in the morning and AI has told me to get up before the kids get up. So I've done that and it told me to make a cup of tea or coffee. I've got that. Then it said to do some stretching, meditation, or something for myself before they get up. So I'm currently sitting on a heating pad that's on my back and I'm gonna watch some YouTube because that's something that I do for myself and then I'll do some stretching and then we'll see what we need to do next. Hey, so we made it 12 minutes so I got 12 minutes of some me time, not bad. Um, and then this one woke up, so I'm gonna nurse her and then we will see what AI wants us to do next. Yeah. Okay, so it's almost seven o'clock in the morning. I fed the baby, changed the baby, which is also what AI said to do. Um, the next thing AI told me to do was prepare a simple breakfast for your toddler and yourself. So that's what I'm going to do right now, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, the next thing AI has told us to do for a morning routine with a toddler and a baby for a stay-at-home mom is um, after we've given them breakfast, change them, all that good stuff, to do activities such as going for a walk. So we're gonna go for a walk and then we're gonna go to the park. We're gonna go the long way to the park so that we can get steps in because those are important too. I think I'm gonna add like little changes, not changes, but like additions to the AI's re uh, recommendations. So one thing that I'd like to um, add into the routine that AI has not added in thus far is exercise for mom. So I think that's important. 10,000 steps a day is what I aim for. So we're gonna get some of those steps out of the way now while we go for a walk and get them to the park. All right, you ready? They're ready, let's go. Okay, so I've made it like to the end of my driveway and um, I'm noticing that the air smells like smoke, like really bad. So I checked the air quality index and it says moderate, which is like, usually I'll go for a walk and it's totally fine. But like, it reeks out here as smoke and I don't wanna like spend the next hour and a half outside with them with it smelling this bad. Like, I don't know if they haven't updated the index, but I, it doesn't smell right. Call me crazy. We're gonna call it and not go for a walk outside and go inside instead and find out what we can do. I'll ask AI what indoor activities we can do with these two instead of going outside today because yeah it's not right let's go inside okay so we're back inside i asked ai what indoor activities i can do with a baby and a toddler and i think i'm just gonna do number one sensory play set up a sensory play area with materials like rice beans and sand or sand in a bin or tray let your toddler explore and play while you supervise the baby nearby all right let's do it <laughs> so just a small problem this one just wants to get the rice also who's gonna vacuum is ai gonna vacuum this up for me is ai gonna keep the baby away from the rice for me i don't think so are you having fun with the rice at least all right there's a win she's having fun with it oh my gosh is this okay no If you're listening, and I know that you are, um, a little bit of information you may want to add to the algorithm or whatever, however you work. Um, pro tip, cage the baby. When you're playing with stuff like this, got to cage the baby because she's going to want to, you know, do all this and this and this is not baby proof. So it's one of those things when you have a toddler and a baby. AI yeah, didn't know. Oh, you do it. Other than that, not a bad activity. Um, 
This does require quite a bit of cleanup as there is rice literally all over the place and I have to keep it away from this one. Other than that, not a bad suggestion AI. Just thought I'd share that with you. Right? Okay, moving on. All right, we knocked out number one. Let's try number two and three. We've got about 45 minutes till a baby's nap time. So the next indoor activity, story time, read books out loud, yada, yada, we can do that. And then we can do building blocks. Um, we can do both of those things. Maybe it'll take up 45 minutes. Okay, let's go see. So by this point in the morning, we were feeling a little cooped up. But, you know, we stayed busy, did the best we could. AI gave us suggestions. We rolled with it. Um, Shiloh was about to go down for her first nap, which meant that Skylar and I could go in the garage and be as loud as we want and get some energy out. So I'll share with you what I did um, after we put Shiloh down for a nap, and then we will go from there. So remember earlier when I tried to go for a walk to the park with the girls and I like smelled outside and I'm like, oh, it smells like smoke. And I bet the air quality index just hasn't updated yet. So I decided to stay inside. Anyways, I just now got around to checking out the air quality index and um, checking out this smoke and fire map. We know that uh, there's fires happening like up there in the world and over there in the world and they hadn't made their way down here. I'm not gonna give away my exact location. Okay, you weirdos. But I noticed that there's this ring of smoke here and here and I I am pretty sure that's what I'm smelling outside and I'd rather not like inhale all of that. So I'm gonna opt to stay inside. I know I smell it. So AI, just please be with me today. Having a baby and a toddler indoors is is not for the weak. Am I right? So welcome to my home gym. I decided to go for a little walk to get some steps in and Skylar is behind me out of the shot there playing with her toys and having a morning snack. So this is what we did during Shiloh's first nap. Okay, so it's almost 11 o'clock. The baby's about to wake up from her nap. We've done this. Uh, we've done prepare breakfast, did that. Feed change baby, did that. Engage in morning activities such as reading or going for a walk. We couldn't do that, so we substituted, asked AI what to do instead, did that. Plan for any outings. Um, okay, so I have an idea. And then mid-morning snack for the toddler, did that. Um, so the outings part, I think we're going to take a trip to the library whenever the little one gets up. You want to go to the library? What are you doing, by the way? You're wearing a towel on your head. Sounds good, okay. And then we can move on to afternoon when we get back. Okay, baby. Oh my gosh, so we finally made it to the library. Took forever, I had to feed this one before we left. This one is in a, in a mood. And then on the 10 my minutes dad. right here, ended up having my to do a dad. diaper change when we got here. So clearly she wants down. This is. We're doing it. We're going to the library. All right. So watching this back now is pretty funny, but like that morning was kind of frustrating because it was one thing after another. Like we could not get out of the house and Skylar was so antsy to get there and I was just trying to get there in one piece and we finally did. And of course we get there and we had a, a diaper fiasco. So it was just like one thing after another, but we got there. Skylar got to play. She played with some friends. She had a good time. So that was a good outing and a good use of time. All right, so we are back from the library. Did you have fun at the library? You did? <laughs> you did. What about you? Did you have fun? She's like, I don't know, Mom. I just kind of sat there. So we're doing lunch as AI says to do. Afternoon, prepare lunch. Got it. Engage in activities. Did that. Uh, okay, so we're getting here around the number four. Afternoon nap time for both the toddler and the baby. Nap time's coming up. This is mommy's, <laughs> mommy's time to shine. So we're gonna get the kids ready for their afternoon nap. And then number five, use this time for personal activities like reading, catching up on chores, or relaxing. Um, since AI has not told me to shower yet today, I'm going to use uh, number five as time to shower as soon as I put them down for their afternoon nap. Sound good? Yeah. 
Okay, so the girls are waking up from their nap. I've showered and we are ready to move on to the next section of this routine that AI has given me today, which is gonna be the evening. Prepare a nutritious dinner for the family. Yeah, baby. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Um, I'll show you what we do. We're gonna make dinner together, Skylar, Shiloh, and Mommy. Okay, so we made a quick and easy dinner. We have some almond flour wraps. Uh, we have some organic shredded cheese there. And I let Skylar put the cheese on the wrap, folded it over, heated it up in the microwave, and put it alongside some cauliflower rice and some ground turkey. And I called that dinner. It was a success. It was easy. Skylar felt like a chef, which is super important because, you know, you got to get the kids involved, right? So this is what we did. And then we enjoyed dinner. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> she does. You like that, yes? <laughs> All right, AI, what do we do next? We prepared a nutritious dinner for the family and ate it, did that. Right here it says, engage in family activities like playing games, going for a walk, or having story time. And then underneath that it says, bathe the children and put them into their pajamas. I'm going to switch these two. You know why? My kids made an absolute mess at dinner time, and I'd rather bathe them now. And then we'll do number two. So we're switching these two. So I'm going to go give the girls a bath and put them into their jammies. So I introduced Skylar to a deck of cards for the first time. Um, this entertained her for a little bit. She was like matching the cards together and all that good stuff. So winding down near the end of the day here. A long day with kids, man, when you're the only one to entertain them and take care of them. It's a lot and it's exhausting. But I wonder if AI could like replace parents one day. Um, you think you think that that could happen? Let me know. Okay, AI, I think we're wrapping up this day. Let's see. Bedtime routine, including bedtime stories and singing lullabies. Got it. And then after that, spend some quality time with your partner or enjoy some personal time once the children are asleep. Gonna not film number five, but number four is coming right up. Is that the one you want to read? That one All right. Come over here. Okay, so that concludes today's video. We did a whole day of the stay-at-home mom routine given to us by AI. I think it worked out pretty good. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. If you would, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all the things, and I'll keep creating content and getting it out to you guys. Thank you for sticking around. Say bye, Skylar. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.